Hey you guys, so today we are looking at Ming. Yes, don't worry, Flash Gordon will be coming soon. Yes, so this is the Ming the Merciless King features number three, the original superheroes. 33 points of articulation, Flash Gordon, Ming the Merciless. Some nice artwork there. Nice artwork on the side. On the back we have Ming with Broken sword and no helmet thingy hat. Uh, the Phantom, the Ghost Who Walks, who I have also reviewed, by the way. So if you haven't watched that one yet, please go watch it because he's... I think a lot of people are thinking it's the previous version, not the new one. And I cannot figure out how to put the new one without... Yeah. So, yeah, please go watch that, guys. Anyway. Our story follows the adventures of the world-famous athlete Flash Gordon, who was transported to the strange and hostile planet Mongo, ruled by the sinister Emperor of the Galaxy, Ming the Merciless, hell-bent on conquering the universe and destroying anything standing in his path, aided by his companions Dale Arden and brilliant Dr. Zagoff. Flash is an epic and never-ending space adventure to save the universe using only his human strength, courage and wisdom. The figure is based on the original depiction of Ming in Alex Raymond's True Masterpiece series. The original superhero line of figures is Necker's loving tribute to the giants of comic book and pop culture. It includes laser blaster, short muzzle flash, long blast effect, sword and sheath and interchangeable heads and hands. Yes. So yeah, it's a nice figure. Then we have Flash down there as well. And the Defenders of the Earth Defenders. Yep. All the stuff on the bottom you need to know, barcodes and things. And down that side we just have Flash 03. Right, so, yeah, let's get this guy open. Oh yeah, remember, we open them. We open them at the bottom now, guys, because that's what you all told me to do. And it seems to be working so far. Right. Pop this bad boy out of here. Yeah, so I will say this, okay, it doesn't look like Ming from the movie, and I know that they've done a Ming, a Ming movie version, a movie Ming, a Ming movie, movie Ming, anyway, uh, they've done one of those, and I didn't like it because it's not really the movie version, so I thought I'd wait until they did one. He has hands which are not gloved, and ha two hands are, so the fist hands and the gloved hands the other hands, I guess if he's using his blaster, he takes his gloves off. Yeah. Hmm. So there is the card cape draping nicely down the back. Oh, look, it's got not so many knots in the back of this, so I will maybe have a go at undoing it. Because I'm just like that sometimes. I did get the other versions of these, the ones that, the one that's, I've got Flash and Ming that are just on the cards. I think they were a, an exclusive. Um directly from NECA and I I didn't like them. I sold them. Um, these come with swords and blasts and, and other hands and things like that. They came just Ming and Flash and that was it. And I was like, ah. Oh. Plus they were on cards which means that you've got to rip the cards open to take them out. I, I like to take my things out. But I also like that option with the boxes that if I really wanted to, I could put them back in. So, uh, Clytus, I'm bored. What playthings can you offer me today? Hmm, different me. The headpiece is glued on this one. The other head, obviously, is removable. He's got a nice little, a little cape back there. That's nothing too, nothing too fussy at the back there. Yeah, quite a nice likeness. Let's see if we can tilt some more of the light around here. There we go. Very muscular belt and gun pouch with little little thing on there that once you've popped, you can't get the damn things back on. Oh no, that one's kind of it'll go back on with the guns in it. I say the gloved hands which are painted. Yeah, not too bad. Underneath the feet, because people keep asking me to show underneath the feet. There we go. Right, so will he stand like a legend? Let's see if we can get him into a... I do like that face. It's got some nice colour texture on there. Yeah. 
Right, let's see what the accessories, accessories, accessories are. Take out for now. So we have, all held down with sticky back plastic. I'm going to be careful because the last medium flash I did, I did break some of the swords because they were quite fragile around this area. So these do look a little bit thicker. I will say, somebody asked me if the Phantom, because I reviewed the Phantom the other day, has um, the same problems. No, the joints are pretty, pretty manoeuvrable. Um, so uh, the paint also doesn't scratch off either. So yeah, there is the focus. And tell me, the sword, quite a nice sword, just out of interest. No, it does not come apart there, which is weird, because like I said, on the back of the box. Oh no, he does have the sword in his hand. You see, I thought, I thought it was broken, but it's just, it's a very dark colour. Mm, it does, slightly bad photography. Sorry guys, but, you know, if you take pictures of your figures, at least let them see that they've got all the bits. Yeah, that's got a like a gem thing on the end there. And if you clean your nails out. Joking! Yes, um, that goes in there like so. Hmm. Is there a, a right one? Ah, that's better. I guess that must be the front one. Uh, no, I think it's supposed to do that. Give us a sec. There we go. Yes. That needs a little bit of glue on it, I guess, and that will be fine. It's better than the other ones that broke, I have to say. Feels sturdier. Yeah. <laughs> I know how to break things. There is the face. That's actually, you can see the face a lot better on this one. That's quite a nice paint job. Some nice textures in there. There's a little bit of purples and all sorts in there. Yeah. Inside, and that's like I say that's the un uh, hatted one cap. What would, you, what would you call that? Cap, I guess. But yeah, it's really not in focus. There is a slight difference to the skin tone. That one's a, a little redder and a little pinker, maybe. And then I guess this is after the sword fight. So let's have a look articulation wise. We have forward, we have a little bit of back, a little bit of tilt either way. This bit here is solid, but attached. It does feel like it's got a little bit of give, but like I say, you're only gonna get you're not gonna get a lot of back, and you're not gonna for that, and you're not gonna get a forward because of the beard. Arms up, round there we go, elbows, nice double joint in there, so you're gonna get plenty of maneuverability in that. Um, the middle forward backwards there is a little bit of pivot in the middle just be careful because you can see that kind of moves a little bit in there that is glued down we do blaster blaster still in the box wrists i've got to do the wrists they have pivot in there as you can see that's already taking i wish they wouldn't do that i wish they wouldn't paint underneath you always going to scrape the paint off legs out Forward a little bit. This again is the rubber diaper thing. Oh, that squeaky noise. <laughs> right. There we go. So the knees, not quite a butt kicker. Has a little toe pick in there as well. And plenty of pivot and maneuverability in the ankle. So you will be able to open those, pose out a little bit and get them into a more action based pose. Now let's have a look at the hands because I get the feeling in the blaster that we are going to need to put the other hands in there because those are a little boring. It's a little bit of a boring pose. Wow, this is definitely put down some tape. Right, so there is a blaster. Blaster. And we start with holding on the hands as well. Right, we've got a plethora of hands. There we go. So there is the blaster effect, which is a kind of a, let's see that, got kind of a purpley metallic look to it. I'm just trying to look at the old, 
previous one. That is a different gun. Um, I will try, let's have a look and put it in the holster. Does it fit? Yes, it does. There we go. Yeah, I was. I remember the animated cartoon that they had, which I think was shown in bits over in the UK, but one like Christmas, they just showed the whole thing all in one go. I remember just being glued to it for the entire day because it was on for ages. Right, once you've got the gun in there, unfortunately, that doesn't close. So maybe it needs a little bit of work maneuvering everything around. There we go. And that's why you push. Right, if you push the that bit back under there and then pull that down, it, it locks back in. That looks a bit better. Right, so hands wise we have a sword holding hand. We have and for the same hand we have blaster holding hand. That's the same side. Someone's got a trigger on it, so I guess that's blaster wise. As I said they do have joints in there, but they are very they are very stiff. So I would recommend um ooh, a little bit of something came off there. Yeah, I guess that's from in the joints there. Like I say, always a problem with NECA figures. They paint onto, rather than making it out of a colour and giving washes over it, they seem to, I don't know, paint it in the wrong colour. The ring's kind of nice on it. Hmm. That one also has ring on as well because that's the same hand it's kind of more of a blaster hand so I am thinking probably which hand is that that is that hand I'm thinking sort of that and then you see look there's bits of paint and all sorts coming out of these things look because they painted it so in a way, gold's going to be more scratchable. So really they should have made that a gold man. I don't know. I don't design toys, but as you can see, I'm sitting in like a load of paint chips, which is never really good. But that's what you get from NECA, I guess. So we'll put on there because that is a sword hand. Now, I was hoping that there would be a way to unplug, because that bit comes off. This hand, oh, right, it is a little bit softer than it looks, which is good. I'm trying my best not to break the hilt. I will do that then quickly. Before it can close, no, I pretty much moulded back. Try again. Right, that is in there though. Now the fingers are too big. And then we put the sword back in. I think it's a nice figure. I just, like I say, it's always just one of the things with NECA that they have a few paint issues, that they paint things like that. If you're going to mould it, mould it in gold, which I'm not sure if they've done. I think they've moulded it in yellow, which isn't too bad. So I'm going to scrape off as much. Yeah, it's moulded in yellow. So that doesn't mind, that doesn't matter so much if paint scrapes off because it's still a similar colour. But, you know, I don't know. I, I try my best to defend Necker as much as I can, but they do have these habits of, you know, letting us down a bit. That fits nicely, though, I have to say. If 
feels like it's going to stay there so yeah that is I say I'm not going to swap the head over because I don't think I'll ever use that head I think that head was more made for the they've done one that is supposed to be flash from the movies but it isn't if you look at it it's not really flash or from the films they've just used these uh, and kind of faked it just of interest here is the previous Ming that we got which is I'm happy to say this is Defenders of the Earth Ming pretty much a reasonably different sculpt it's got similar shoulders obviously the same chest just with a repaint arms are probably the same the gauntlets are different the hands are the same belts different uh, legs are exactly the same and the boots are different but I think they match the Flash Gordon version of this the head face is the same it's just that they've glued a different hat on it or oh, they've glued that bit on I'm trying to figure it out now I think it's just a different this bit comes off by the looks of it let me have a look now you've been good and you've stood up for ages yeah that looks like that's glued on so it's just a different cap so you are you are getting a slight bit of reuse but I have to say I like this one because it's the TV series but this I like because it, it feels more more mingy I don't know yeah out of interest while we've got them here because I brought him over here is the Defenders of the Earth Flash who is yeah, pretty good he's still got the stiff joints and I haven't done a lot with him because it's taken me a while but I finally got him so that most of the joints are reasonably loose but yeah there was breakages in the guns breakages in the swords yeah we have some issues with those afterwards that's the sad thing um just have interest just for your what's it also we have the phantom which is at the same set um like i say he has his own video so go watch that he comes in at just a little bit under seven inches or oh, uh, around 17 and a half centimeters mark so yeah all in all oops not but not a bad figure i like the look of it it's got some style to it it's gonna look good on your shelf it's gonna look great with i'm gonna look at the flash it's gonna look pretty good with him next to it it's a shame like little things like the boots you know that that so the video the camera cut out because i was talking for too long it is a great figure and i'm lucky to have got it a little early if you've enjoyed this video and you're new here and you haven't please subscribe hit the like button as well it's all helped the channel tell your friends that this video is on here because like i said the phantom one didn't get quite as many views as i was hoping it seems quite slow even though people are excited that it's a new figure i just think that the algorithm's having trouble with it because it's not technically a new figure but it is a new figure and it doesn't understand that it's a new figure so it's not showing it off hmm. so yeah this is Ming yeah so hopefully this will be the next video will be flash thank you for watching hope you all have a great day hope you all have a great night don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in the next video bye now